if you look at the plots of our uh, concrete strength predictions with the current uh, weights and biases if you look at these plots so these plots are uh, not that really good our predictions are uh, nowhere matching with the actual values it means the selected uh, weights and the bias values are not appropriate we have to update this uh, weights and uh, biases in such a way that we get some reasonable predictions that are accurately or nearly accurately matching with the uh, test data test means not machine learning test data it mean um, the experimental data and uh, in this tutorial we are going to apply a technique called uh, gradient descent algorithm using which we continuously update the weights and uh, biases in such a way that the total cost is minimize it to a very lower value the equations involved in the gradient descent algorithm looks like this it involves two major steps the first one is the weight update the second one is the bias update using this equation we calculate uh, the gradient for each weight corresponding to each uh, input feature and uh, using this equation we calculate the bias value after calculating the gradients we multiply them with the learning rate and we subtract the resulting value from the current weights for each input feature such that we get the new weight value for each input feature similarly we multiply the gradient of bias with the learning rate and uh, subtract from the existing uh, bias value so that we will get the new bias value which we will be using in the upcoming iteration this is the program in which we evaluate the gradients of weights and biases first we evaluate the error error represents this part of the equation so in both of these equations error evaluation is same we then multiply the obtained error value with the corresponding input feature to get uh, the gradient for each weight the bias does not require any pre multiplication and finally we divide uh, the gradient of weights and biases with the total number of elements in each input feature that is represented by the number of rows of x variable after getting the latest uh, weights and bias we then evaluate the cost uh, of this iteration with this latest weights and uh, bias values we will repeat this process until a very low cost is obtained we repeated this i uh, loop thousand times so these are the final uh, values of cost weights and bias so we have obtained uh, a final cost of 58.7 and uh, these are the weights and uh, biases corresponding to this uh, final cost value remember these weights and uh, bias are obtained using the normalized uh, input data not the actual input data keep that in mind because in future predictions we have to normalize the new input features before using them for predictions let's predict the concrete compressor strength values using the latest uh, weights and uh, biases see the prediction of concrete compressor strength with respect to the cement quantity and uh, blast furnace slag are really good compared to our uh, initial starting weights and biases let's test the model on some untrained data as i said before remember that the weights and biases are uh, trained on the normalized data hence when using these weights and bias on the new data we have to normalize the new input data first using the mean and standard deviation of the training data this is how we convert the raw test data into a normalized test data here we use the mean and standard deviation values these are uh, obtained from the training data we directly use them and convert the test data into the normalized test data so these are the final values of uh, concrete compressor strength uh, with respect to cement quantity and the blast furnace slag of this um, test data so even in the untrained data also our model performed well but there are some instances where uh, our model is uh, not predicting well let's take a look at all the input features means uh, in the above two plots we have just plotted this uh, concrete compressor strength with respect to cement quantity and uh, blast furnace slag so there are six more parameters such as fly ash water super plasticizer coarse aggregate fine aggregate age etc so let's plot the compressive strength of concrete with respect to all of those variables uh, i wrote a simple for loop 
to plot uh, all the uh, variations of concrete compressive strength with respect to uh, each input feature. So this plot is with respect to the cement quantity. Blast furnace slag is this one and um, fly ash is this one, water is this one and this is super plasticizer and this is with respect to coarse aggregate this is with respect to fine aggregate and uh, this is with respect to age so if you look at uh, all of these plots our machine learning model is decent so it has predicted uh, the values of uh, concrete compressor strength on the test data really well actually not that bad we cannot say this is the best predictions that we can get from the machine learning model but this is the best we can get using the simple linear regression model in our later projects we will use some advanced machine learning techniques so that we can get more uh, accurate predictions. Let's save the weights and biases and other training data for uh, future use. After saving the data, we don't know who will use this training data and for what purpose and what kind of values people will try out this uh, machine learning model. So it's very essential to uh, provide a clear instructions about how to use this data. We, are, we have performed this um, machine learning model on a normalized data. If you do not tell that uh, people have to use the normalized data, if people directly use the actual data, then they will get the garbage results. For that, we have to clearly provide the instructions to normalize the data. So here I have provided the equations required for normalizing the data and uh, equations required to uh, evaluate the final predicted value and uh, what are all the features involved in it such as cement quantity, blast furnace, slag, fly ash, water, super plasticizer, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, age, etc. And the one target variable that uh, we are expecting this machine learning model to predict is the concrete compressor strength. That I have documented clearly in this uh, in the form of a comment and I am saving that in this PRED guidelines. Um, that's it. We have all other uh, data in our hand right now. So we have the weights, we have the bias, we have the mean value, we have the standard deviation value and uh, we have the prediction guidelines. So I'm saving all of them in this uh, concrete underscore strength underscore ML data dot NPG. I'm saving this data in this um, NPG format because it's a uh, a numpy binary file format it is very fast and efficient for reading and writing purposes in the next video uh, we will see how to import the training data and predict the concrete compressor strength for some new input features these are some references i followed while uh, learning the concepts of machine learning and uh, deep learning these are very good resources on this topic that's it for this um, video see you in the next tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions we recommend you to please write them in the comment section below the video. We greatly appreciate your feedback and we will do our best to respond to each and every comment. If you like our content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Happy learning. Thank you.